Hey folks, it's Isaac Wagner from HiddenAudiolog.com and today is Overwatch launch day. Uh, right now the time is 4.40. The server didn't go up until like 10 minutes ago. Um, it was supposed to go out at 4, which is pretty funny. But uh, <clears throat> we're here. We're overwatching. Uh, this is People have been thirsty for this game for a long time. This uh, Team Fortress-esque class-based uh, first-person shooter. PC, Xbox One, and PS4. And it just came up, so I'm going to walk you through it. Now, this video is a little disingenuous because it's not exactly a first impression. I played the open beta that was a couple weeks ago. Um, but I want to see what the finished game is like. So we're going to head into a match. And I will kind of walk through some of this stuff real quick. My favorite part about Overwatch is that games get quick, they go fast, and they get done quickly. Um, it's one of my problems with League of Legends right now is that it goes on for... It's like 10 minutes for champ select, 10 minutes trying to find something. Um, we're going to go McCree. I don't really care who I play as right now. I'm going to play an offense shooter, so we can see that there are different classes. You have your offense, you have your defensive, you have your tanks, and you have your supports. Um, defensive shoot people are more like better for holding a vocation. Defensive characters are for absorbing aggro. Healing characters are for supporting or support characters are there for aiding and providing utility for your team. And the offense characters are there to deal damage. So uh, here I'm McCree. I have a couple abilities. First, my shift gives me a roll. E throws a bomb that stuns people if I hit it. I have my gun, my revolver, reload it. Infinite bullets. Not infinite. I, I have to reload, but it's infinite rounds. I don't have to worry about ammo ammo use or anything like that. Right click uses, it does a burst attack that's a little inaccurate, but does a fuck ton of damage because I'm releasing all six bullets in one go, so that obviously do a ton of damage. Basically, I want to go in, throw this, get that, and then clean up whatever's left. My ult is kind of weird, and it took me a long time. I'm, I'm, it's been a while since i played this game, a couple weeks, as I said, two or three weeks, so I may not remember how to do it instantaneously. Uh, basically, I do it, the screen changes color, I wait till targets get locked on, I hit Q, I uh, click shoot, and then they all die. If they're all locked on too. Uh, this map was in the beta, so nothing too crazy here. Let's go around. They have bastions and stuff there, who are turret men protecting. Uh, I hate Bastion. It looks like our team has found a way in, though. Oh, what the fuck hit me? Shit. Oh, he has the ult already, too. Fuck. They're kind of wiping the poor of us early. This Genji's doing work, though. He's in the back lines, providing distraction so we can push the payload. So, the objective in this game is to pu push this truck thing to various checkpoints you can see on the middle, top middle of the screen. There are several white dots, and those are how far we are from a checkpoint, which unlocks it, and we get more time. Fuck, they're already there. Got somebody. Shit. Ah, oh, shit, you saw me. Fuck. Uh, the reason why I'm seeing that stuff is because there's a character called Widowmaker who gives you ability to see through walls and stuff, I believe, is what's going on. I haven't played her myself. But I think that's the consensus there. I have my ult up. Just need to find a good time to use it.
Oh fuck, really? Thanks, healer. Alright. Uh, what I really like about this game so far is all the different, even though there isn't a shit ton of characters, they all interact with each other really interesting ways, so no one match feels the same depending on who the enemy picks and who you pick and all that good stuff. I fucking hate Bastion though. What? He didn't get blinded by that? Bullshit. I'm just feeding my ass off. Two eliminations, five deaths. It's pretty bad. To be fair, it just came back up and I just started playing it. McCree's a kind of difficult character to play, but whatever. I'm still feeding. It's her, it's fuck. Not going good so far, guys. Yeah, so far we're getting our butts kicked a little bit here. Haven't even got to the first checkpoint, and they're pushing it back pretty hard. I don't. I like to think my ult took out like two of them. That felt pretty good. Girl, oh, fuck, he used his ult. Fucking Bastion. Uh, I thought my sh my thing would go through his shield, but it didn't. Really annoying. Hate that character. So the clock gets extended a little bit when you get two on the checkpoints, uh, but it's only by like a minute or two. And it's one of the reasons why matches go so fast is that. Fuck, man. Where's my fucking team? We don't need a fucking Bastion. We need a Reinhardt to push this shit in. I don't know, like, a guy switch to it. Are you fucking kidding me? They're behind us? God damn it. Ugh. Genji's in their shit. Oh, I'm alive, apparently.
only got one person. Feels bad, man. I think someone left on our team, too. No, their team. Ah, only 20 seconds left. This game's probably over. They're pushing it back, so. Guys need to go in there and push it, or we won't get overtime. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. Fuck. Uh, we got overtime, but we're still gonna lose. Shit. It's a good first game to show you guys. Oh, wow. That guy already has that? Weird. I mean, it means he plays a lot of Roadhog, Roadhog Park. Well, you can, when you level up, you can unlock a loot box which uh, has different things. It's not very impressive. Uh, where you can get different. Uh, oh, always vote for our team, never the enemy team. Um, when you level up, you get a loot box. It has things like altered emblems, user icons. You can spray paint uh, icons in the world. Unlock new skins. Stuff like that. Uh, uh, unlock new victory things. So when you win, it does a thing where, like, you saw the rogue where he brought a camera towards him. That's a, I think that's a unique one of those unique victory pose things. So there's a bunch of stuff you can unlock. I think it's one of the things that's lacking in this game so far is a progression system. Uh, because right now, all right, let's try someone new. Let's try. Uh, let's try this guy. Reinhardt. He's my favorite. Uh, tank right now to play. Um, lack of progression, we're like that stuff is cool, but it's not. It doesn't come very often. And for a sixty dollar game, you, you kind of want more goals and objectives. There are a bunch of achievements for each specific character, but I wish that stuff showed in game. Like I got a kill with like Reinhardt. Like oh, get fifteen more, fourteen more kills to unlock this achievement. Uh, so I wish that pro that progression stuff was surfaced a little bit better, uh, a little bit more interesting way. But uh, also, I don't think there's a lot of maps in this game mode. Like this, we're doing the, we're basically on the defending side of that uh, payload thing. And uh, the one other game mode is basically control uh, a can cave the hill control point thing, where you. Uh, are blocking uh, where you're trying to capture a location on the map and then you capture it and then it's done now I'm going to do the same thing that you did because it's easy and it's pretty low Wait, I got stunned? Fuck you. How did I get stunned? So that didn't go as well because they had a Genji and automatically knew what to do, which is go and kill him. He didn't get stunned and I did. That's kind of fucked up. And bad. I could have killed him. I didn't know that interaction existed, actually. If two right hearts charge at each other, do they both get stunned? It didn't look like he did. So who knows? So you can see now it's six minutes. Trying to distract their damp backline, so 
our front line can kill the tank and anyone else who is up with them. I mean, I didn't kill him in the process, which is unideal, but it is what it is. Oh, they almost got into that. I guess that's how far we made it last time, but in a much longer time. Oh, it does like an earthquake attack, basically. Oh, was that hers? I didn't even know we, they had a diva. I thought that was our diva for some reason. I don't know if I could have dodged that anyway. I'm a kind of a slow, tanky guy, so... Us. I think there's the same team from last game who fucked us too, so. Ah, they're gonna get it. As long as they don't make it to the next one. Fuck's my team. Hello, guys. You want to do something? I have to back out of the server so I don't get this server of everyone being super good at this game and I suck. And my team sucks. Why am I spawned all the way over here? One of the things I don't like about this game, it feels like sometimes like a battlefield game where I spawn you forever away. Team can't do anything. Get our shit pushed in. You guys want to kill them? You're all around them. I wish I had my ult there. Now I have it. You're just going to get it though. Jesus, they're just slaughtering us. I don't like switching characters too much in the middle of games. It's like Pokemon philosophy where if all you're doing is switching, you're not really doing anything proactive. So I'd like to stick with something and see if I can make it work. At least I got Genji. I don't think doing shields are any useful for my team because they're just like not. They're like a hundred. Like we have like we have a sniper, a flying. Wait, no. Yeah, like I don't know. Shit, what the fuck? Where am I? Also, sometimes you just spawn in place. Like, wait, this is not where I spawned before. It's, I don't know where the fuck I am. Fuck, he has an ult? God damn it. Really? 
Man, come on. Ah, fuck! I got dick done. Also, that guy is way better than me, or his team's supporting him better. All of the above. Everyone just keeps switching characters. Like, what is that supposed to do? Okay, we saved it for now. Fuck, how did I not kill that guy when I hit him? Fuck this game. I think we lose this. Yeah. Dude, he already has his ult back up. The fuck? Why did my ult not get anyone? Oh, uh, that sucks. They were way better. Probably this Reinhardt. Yeah, he was pretty good. Can't believe he didn't kill him while he was like that. That was a really good old. Holy fuck. Yeah, he destroyed people. But then he kills the fine lady. Mercy. Alright, let's leave and open a loot box. Alright, so this one looks like opening a loot box. You got this guy, you click him. Opens up different colors depending on the quality. So I have this new emblem now. I'll clip it. Uh, go back. Oh shit, I can't. I backed out too far. Whatever other stuff is em like other emblem stuff or spray painting stuff in the world, which I don't even know how to do. It sounds kind of lame. But let's go back into another match. Uh, so. This game doesn't feel super new, actually, because of... It just feels like I'm bad at it because I haven't played it in a while. I really wish we'd play a map other than this one. This is kind of annoying. Different people, I think. Um, I will try Zenyatta, which is the healing guy I default to, typically. Uh, I do like that it... It does, like, say... No support heroes. Uh, it does tell you and try to help you team composition stuff. That's one problem with League where it's like, oh, we need a support and an AD carry here and this here. And you're like, I didn't, I didn't know that. And you're like, well, now you do, motherfucker. And it's kind of a, it's kind of the hard knocks way of learning League of Legends, trying to figure out roles and the best team composition and what's meta right now, um, stuff like that. Uh, while League of Legends, while this game is like, hey, you guys should probably have a support. Oh, you guys maybe should have a tank. And that stuff may not always be right. It's based off class information, not necessarily like what's meta. So like, let's say Reaper's really good right now. The thing, game's not gonna tell you, oh, you guys should really use a Reaper in your team comp. It's just gonna be like, oh, you need more offensive characters. So it's not gonna be anything specific like that, but it does give you a general idea of what you're looking for and what you should, what you need. 
So we heal up. She's our tank, so or defensive character. I forget what she's called. Um, but I'm gonna heal her up because she's gonna be absorbing a lot of damage. I'm kind of the healer guy, so I throw out my orb to heal people passively. I can mark people to do extra damage to them. Marking them does extra damage to them. Mark him. Oh fuck, they didn't take him out in time. The shield went down for a second, so I thought we could take him out. Let's see how far his health goes down. Uh, only 100, so about a third. I wasn't doing a lot of healing there, I was just trying to mark the correct target so we could get the payload moving. Uh, I like this guy. I'm not a big healer person typically, but I like this guy because he feels proactive. My heal is passive, so I, I can pay very little attention to it. My E is like, I feel like I'm directing the battle and the pace of the battle really well, which is cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. They just gain raped us there. What the hell? We got Genji, and then he just started, started doing terrible things to us in the backline. I don't think we have a great tank for backline defense. Uh, like a Reinhardt or a Rotog or something. Okay, so heal her for now. I have no one else to heal. Oh, that's nice. At least we have a Reaper in the backline doing bad shit to people. All those guys are so critical. I also do like the game as the healer tells you, hey, these guys should probably use healing. It really helps uh, when the battles get really chaotic. I'm still really bad at target selection and like picking out who I should be healing, but I gotta heal this guy. It's a line of, it's it's a, with an AOE range, so. All right, we got that in. Fuck that sniper, he always looks out for me, Jesus. At least I'm attracting aggro, I guess, but it's really annoying to keep dying over and over again. It doesn't make me feel like I'm doing very much. I guess I'm attracting aggro and drawing their fire, but at the same time, I wish I was being more, being better. Pop, this is my ult where it does an AoE heal, uh, which is useful for when to counter other people's ults. I got it die instantly. Where's my team? Hello? There's a Kinji behind us with an ult. Sometimes the map awareness of people are is really questionable. I ran into a little of a stalemate here at this second checkpoint. Oh shit. Someone they got dicked. Bitch, let me heal you. Guys. Nice. I can my charge up attack. That's a large amount of damage. it push it real good oh 
Oh fuck. I didn't even see that guy behind us. Oh, we got dicked again. I should have popped my ult, but I didn't know we were in that much trouble. This Reaper got like a bunch of them, though. I think we're going to get the next one. Pretty easy. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so yeah, my ult makes me invulnerable while an AoE uh, heal is around me, so it's really powerful for blocking other ults or denying the damage of those ults. So I do that to block the uh, Genji ult. This basically means he does a one, one shot, one killed everyone. Kill that guy all by myself. The uh, fire emblem right there just shows how much damage you're dealing. Oh fuck. I think we got this pretty good here. So my uh, Discord orb amplifies damage on the people who selected, so I can kind of focus the battlefield on select areas. There's a weird glitch with Zenyatta, where like his orbs are all fucked up. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's something on my end, but it's weird looking. Yeah, that Reaper was doing some pretty intense work. Die, die, die. Classic. Everyone's got their little remark that they make. I'll give it to her. She's actually... See, no one on the main team ever votes for the... For uh, friendlies, because not for friendlies, but no one on, no one votes for the enemy, just because you know. So I reach level four here. Should get loot box. Loot box acquired. I'll bump out. Check that out there, and we'll play one more, and I'll play a character I haven't really played too much of. Those three are the primary people I've been doing in my position. Uh, so this is a victory post thing, like I was telling you about. So I don't have Farah. Maybe we'll try her out because I have that. New prayer icon, here's the spray, you just spray it on the thing, which is kind of weird. You can buy loot, cr loot crates for money, which is weird, considering this game's already $40, but whatever, I guess. If you want to buy 50 loot crates for the exact same amounts that you bought this game for, go for it. I believe there is a way where you can buy specific skins. Uh, actually, you can't for specific skins. Uh, you have to get this gold thing, which only generates from uh, loot crates and stuff like that. Uh, so let's play one more. There is alternate modes. See, I can just keep switching while we're in the menu here. Um, but I can't show the game modes. Uh, so you can play versus AI. There's custom where you can invite people and pick if they're AI or bots. And there's the weekly arcade mode, which I haven't tried yet, uh, which is uh, arcade, 200% HUD, 100% 150% ultimate gain rate, 75% faster ability cooldowns, maps, uh, these maps are in use for it. Uh, so it's just kind of like, you know, here's the fun mode where like the rules are kind of weird, it's not very competitive, it's just a fun thing. Uh, they do that for, bra I think um, Hearthstone has a mode like that, League of Legends has a mode like that, they have the rotating weekly or monthly game mode, which in this case it's Earth, which is kind of a similar thing there. Finally a new map, I do want to show a new map. Uh, I won't try Fear for Era because I have played actually zero of here. I'll play a character I don't have a ton of experience with. Um, so I just started getting into it at the end of the beta, Roadhog. So Roadhog has a shotgun thing. He also uses this thing, which is like a longer range thing, but a little harder to land. I have my hook, and then I'm going to drink this, I get health back. Uh, which is useful because I'm a tank, and I'm going to be frontline. It would be 
uh, with my hook trying to grab far off people or stationary people, you know. We matched into a losing match, so it's we might do another one after this if this is I'm not gonna leave on this note. Uh cooldown some in this game are really low, so you can feel free to like just play with them and figure out what's going on. Um they're not like sixty seconds or whatever. Why is everyone so far back? My ult's like a mini gun. It's pretty useful. Fuck, he has ult. Gain some health. They're doing a good job stopping them. Kill streak, nice. We can make sure that one guy isn't up here still. At least I cleared out the Reinhardt, so their shield's gone. And uh, we're at 20 seconds, so I'm actually win this game. We'll still do another one, because it wasn't very long. But you can see the games kind of go pretty quickly. They're easy. Uh, it's hard to get frustrated at them because of how quick they are. I think we're pushing back, so we might, they may not get overtime. Yeah, we won. Nice. Good job. GG. I think I'll do do Roadhog again because he's fun. I like hooking people, it's a really good feeling. Hmm. This is a good old triple kill. Yeah, so Road Cognitive is just an automatic Gatling gun thing. You have no control over it in terms of, like, uh, when you fire, it just constantly fires until the timer runs out, and it's really hard to aim, but it does a t hell of a lot of damage and it's a high rate of fire. Uh, okay, we didn't have enough people, so going back here. Two wins. Uh, so this is kind of where they surface a lot of stats, how many time for a play for character, how many games won, stuff like that. Uh, before we go off, I can show you the individual, individual achievements and stuff for each character. Just get an idea of what that progression looks like, even though I don't think it's incredibly satisfying. Um, do this guy again. 
Are we back in another? No, we're waiting for players. So sometimes, sometimes it does this where like we're still waiting for a match to get in here, so we're uh, uh, just kind of goofing around, killing each other. It's a fun little skirmish mode until we uh, get into the real game. Better to use in like large groups of people so your shots will hit more people. Because most of those shots probably missed. Since we're in this skirmish mode, let's try Farah. I haven't played her before. So shift, I'm assuming we get to her fly. It's a little jetpack boost. E is that. Alright, is right click? Oh right click's my fly. So I wanna go up with this and then hover. With my that okay now it all makes sense with her and she has like a, a mini gun a rocket launcher sorry kind of hard to manage. She's fun though. Kind of complicated. Complicated, but fun. I still haven't used my E, so I, is that just a mark? I can't always hit F1 to read your stuff. Uh, yep, concussive blast. Knocks people back. Oh, it's a big old AOE thing, which is badass. Oh, she she did it too. Or that was someone else. Oh, she has a cooler skin than me. I don't have any skin, so any skin that is cooler than mine, I guess. Pharaoh is fun. Fuck Bastion. Stupid ass character. Oh, that wasn't even Bastion. That was some shitty turret. You just dicked on me.
Fuck turret. Fuck you. Holy shit. Man, come on. I'm gonna leave this. It's taking forever to find a game. Unless it's the same one and we're just waiting forever. Yeah, I think this is the same one. Uh, maybe? Uh, let's see here. I want to play Rokok. <laughs> Too bad I can show you guys the other game mode, but you can't really select. You just put quick, quick match and uh, pick the one you want to put. Can't grab that gun. Got two rogue hogs. Don't know if that's the best idea, but whatever. I don't really care. Good for stunning people. Oh, don't kill me. Fuck Inji. He gets to walk out. Feels bad, man. Oh. Nice orgasm sounds there. That range is not that long, is it? I can go around the long way since everyone's there. Try to kill some of the back line. Killed their healer. Okay. Probably should have gone up and like do some more damage to the back line, but oh well. You're kind of worthless, man. I'm a way better Rohog than you. Also, you're AFK, so.
just want to draw fire so they can push the objective. Which they don't seem to be doing. Oh, I think a Roadhog's still in my way. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's doing something-ish. I just want to go in the back line and disrupt them. Except our back line is the front line. Are we not pushing our shit? God, our team sucks. My team. I feel like I'm doing a lot of disruption shit, and everyone else is just fucking jerking themselves off, dying. Feels bad, man. I guess it's the story of every multiplayer game, right? Everyone's sucking but me. Is that worth it, though, man? You just kill yourself, probably. That's the other rogue hog is complete shit. He is complete shit, he's just dying. Guys, oh, he died, dang. Oh my god, he sucks so much today. Oh no, he was there. Okay. He's still alive. But, uh, we, we're so far away from the payload for this. It's actually horrible. Fucking healer. So you can see one of those achievements. I can't use my ult. Rip. Hey, I guess back there forever. What's all my team doing? I'm just dying. Man, your hook sucked, dude. <laughs> ah, we're almost there. Got two people pushing it. Contested. Only one person pushing it. It's not as good. Turret guy. Dude, you're so useless. You're not doing anything. Now you switch to Tracer? Fuck off. I think we lose. I don't think anyone's there. Oh, it's still contesting. What the fuck? I thought I had someone healing me. Uh, I think we lose? Yeah, I think we lose. Rip. Alright, but I think that's Overwatch with the end of this match. I like it. Uh, I think it's pretty good. It's really solid. A lot of great characters. Uh, one of my problems with Team Fortress. Okay. Killed one person. <laughs> this is a pretty shitty old, actually. Thankfully, Genji ult lasts forever, so. Um, no one on our team got a medal because they were all terrible, including me. 
Um, yeah, whatever, don't care. So uh, that's what Overwatch. I like it. I think it has a lot of characters. One of my problems with uh, Team Fortress is that you couldn't. If you didn't like any of the characters in these classes, you were just fucked completely. So it's nice having a bunch of different options for different classes. You can find one that fits with you and maybe get put hold into that class with other characters. Uh, I, I think this, the game just plays great. Uh, but my problem right now is that it's pretty short on content. There's only two game modes plus the weird random game mode, arcade mode. And uh, the progression is kind of weird. That's why I also wanted to show you. you got, so I got one of those achievements. What was it? Roadhog. So, where is it? I thought I knew where these ones. Oh, so this is highlight intros. Those are separate things you can collect. Where's the, hold on a second. Actually, now I don't know where it was. There we go, here's achievements. Um, so you can get like friend zone, each for different classes. Um, but it doesn't f or surface any of this stuff, so I, I didn't even know I got this achievement. Um, destroy three of these, blah, 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 giving you the hook. Where's that one? I think I'm a tank. So here you go. Interrupt enemy ultimate for Roadhog's hook and quicker competitive play. So it only told me when I got that, but like, knock two enemies to their desk with one use of Roadhog stuff. Like, that stuff isn't super surfer, su surfaced very well, and I kind of wish that stuff uh, was more on the forefront so you kind of know what you're getting into and like oh here are my objectives when I'm playing these characters you kind of have to go into this weird menu and go here and be like okay uh, maybe I'll play a support character okay Lucio stuff whatever but that's Overwatch I like it I'm going to play more of it you can expect a review coming soon for it and uh, I'll see you guys later thanks for watching